Hi, I've had a few requests of how to do the noseband, uh, the braided noseband on your horse halter. So I'm going to show you two different nosebands that you can do. First off, I'm going to show you the simple um, braided noseband, and then I'm going to show you this other one with crosses. It's a little bit more complicated, but it is worth the time and the patience to do it because it's really quite an effective um, looking noseband. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with the simple one first simple braided nose band um, and you're going to use 550 paracord um, I get my paracord from Cam's Cords in Australia um, anywhere else you can just google where they sell paracord in your country you're going to need around about 12 feet of paracord for a cob size um, halter that has a 9 inch um, nose band ok so you're going to um, find the halfway point of your paracord of your Four foot paracord, and at the halfway mark, you're going to put that underneath your nose band at one end of your nose band knot. And this is how you, you do your, your simple braid. So I usually start with the right piece of paracord, goes over the front of the nose band, and then the left piece, the left hand piece of paracord goes over the top of your nose band, oh, sorry, over the top of that other piece of paracord, and then up the back of your nose band and out the other side. Okay, so I did the right hand first. Now we're going to take the left hand piece of paracord and it's going to go over the front of the nose band. And then the other piece of paracord goes over the top of that and then up the back of your nose band and out the other side. And then you just pull that reasonably firm. Then you do the right hand side left hand part goes over the top of your other piece of paracord under your nose band at the back and out the other side if you're not sure whether you've done a left hand or a right hand you can actually see that there's a loop there's no loop on this side, the loop's up here and the closest loop is this one so that means when you've got the loop on the side that means that's the side that's going to go over the nose band next okay so over, the other piece goes over and up the back and out the other side. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you've got the hang of the pattern, it's not too bad. So then the, the loop's on this side now, so that this piece of paracord goes over the front, that piece goes over that, up the back, and out the other side. And you pull that knot as well. So now the left hand side, right hand goes over, and up the other side, out the back. One more time, right hand over, other piece over, and then it goes up the back of the nose band and out the other side. So I'll just go ahead and do a little bit more of that. So once you've only got a couple of inches left to go, you can either keep the same spacing that you've done, or you can slide all of that, if you push that along, you can slide it all along. Depends whether you like a tight weave or a loose weave. So then if you've pushed it along then you just keep going until you get to the end and I'll show you how to finish off. You can stop that if you want now. At the end of your um, nose band and you're ready to finish, you pull those two ends really really tight at the end and then you get your pair of scissors and you're going to cut this off reasonably short, so just a few millimetres long on both sides and then you're going to get your lighter and your knife and you're going to just melt that and you melt that with the blue part of the flame because if you melt it with the yellow part it can actually make it change colour quite badly. So once that's melted there and sizzling you get your knife and you, you melt that onto there and the same with the other side go ahead and melt that And then just get your knife and just melt that onto there as well. And so that's that's just your basic braid for a, just a nice simple nose band that looks quite effective. So then I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to do the next nose band, which is the, the crosses on the nose band. Okay, so for the second 
nose band. Um, I've actually got a full size here, so this is 10 inches. So what you're going to use is 8 feet of black paracord and 4 feet of your contrast colour, whatever colour you would like that to be. So you start with your long piece of paracord and again you fold that in half and at the halfway point you put that under your nose band at one end of the knot. And what you're going to do is you're going to do two knots. So right hand side goes over the nose band, just like we did in the last, the last nose band. This part comes over the top of that piece of paracord and it goes up the back and out the other side. And you pull that knot tight. Then we're going to do one more knot. So this time left over right. Then this piece of paracord goes over the top of that paracord and up the back of the nose band and out the other side. So you've done two knots, now you're going to get your contrast piece and at the halfway point it's going to go underneath the nose band as well. Now you're going to put that out of the way to start with and then you're going to do one more knot. Again if you're not sure which side you're up to you can tell by where the, the loop is on the side. There's not a loop on this side but there is a loop on this side. So this side, the black paracord is going to go over the nose band, the other piece of paracord is going to go over the top of that, and then through the back and up the other side. Then this is where you start your crisscross. So you either go left over right or right over left, but keep it consistent. So left and then right. And it just goes down there for the time being and then you're going to tie another knot. So this time you're going to do the left hand side of your black cord over the nose band, the right hand side is going to go over the top of that and up the other side but the, the green cord is going to stay at the back while you tie that knot. Okay I'll do a few more of these and then you just pull that cross, pull that paracord down so the cross is not nice and neat and firm. Then that green paracord is going to come out and over the top, top of those black pieces. Okay, they're just going to be out of the way for a minute while you tie another knot. So right hand over the nose band, left hand over that paracord and up the back. And tie that firm. Then you're going to go left and then right for your crisscross. Okay, and then they're just going to go under there for the time being while you tie another knot with your black. Okay, so left, oops, out of the way. So the left hand part is going over the nose band, the right hand part is coming over the, that piece of cord and up through that loop in front of the green. And pull that tight and then just pull your, your green nose band down a bit. And this is where it comes up again and out the other side, okay, so the loop's on the right hand side, so that means we're going to use the right hand piece of paracord to go over, over and up the back, and tie a knot. So then left, right, and it goes down, okay. So the loop of the black is on the left side, so that means the left side paracord is going over the nose band, the right side is going over and up the back in front of the in front of the green. Okay, pull that tight, just make sure that your, your crosses are nice and firm. So your green's going to come out again, out of the way. Your loop on your black is on the right, so that means you're going to do a right hand knot and up the other side. So left and then right. Down and tie your next knot. Green comes up over the back out of the way. Right hand piece goes over, left hand piece goes over that and up the back. Then left, then right and then down. Then the right hand piece comes over, left hand piece comes up the back, 
and just pull those down and then they come back out the other side. So I'll just go ahead and finish the rest of that nose band and I'll show you how to end off with that as well. Ah. Okay, so once you're at the end and your green pieces are down, you're just going to do a, a knot with those as well. So right over left, left over that part and back up through there and you pull that tight and you pull your black ones tight as well. And this is where you're going to cut off both pieces. So it's probably better just to do one at a time and melt that. Get the other pieces out of the way. So again, with the bottom part of the flame, the, the hottest part, make sure that you just melt that enough that you can push it down with a knife and it stops these coming undone. Knife or your scissors, whatever you've got on hand. Last one. Just enough so that you can melt that and push that onto there. So then as you can see, that's your nose band and it looks quite effective as well with the crosses. Thanks for watching.